Mic check, uh, save the world. What's up, what's up? It's Ryan Chance from Underground Radar. Out here with the homie Ricky Jacobs. What's going on? It's good, man. Working, working. All right, so you still kind of fresh off of your uh, A3C experience in Atlanta. How was that for you? It was um it was cool it was interesting um it, it definitely was a, a different type of feel out there um but the dope thing about Atlanta it's it's the same speed as as the city you know I didn't really get any culture shock or anything like that but um I got a chance to meet a lot of different people um you know so it was definitely a good experience. Okay, so outside of music, I noticed that over the summer you was on your model and shit. <laughs> What's up with that? I mean, I still do a little modeling here and there, but I mean, I don't really um, want to be uh, considered a model. It's just um, just another art form that I picked up, you know, with my photographer and my art director. Shout out to Jockey and, and DVN, you know, so that's just something I do in my spare time when I'm not recording. Okay, so uh, back when you did your interview with um, Interview Magazine around the time of Beautiful America, uh, you talked about a little bit about... Uh, how you hate rap. Um, is there ever any times where you just question whether you want to continue rapping? Oh, definitely. Um, like you just mentioned, when I uh, picked up, you know, modeling and stuff like that, that was just another way for me to, uh, you know, keep myself busy because uh, I just feel like the, uh, you know, I, I love rap, but the professionalism is, is, is something that is lacking at times. And, um, you know, that's something that kind of got to me because... At the end of the day, man, this this is our careers, and um, you know we 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 want to be held to a higher a higher expectation, um, you know, standards, and 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 a lot of times we're not because it's, it's not a, a lot of professionals, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people aren't carrying themselves as such. So that's just pretty much what it was. Okay. So speaking on beautiful America, at the end on uh, ordinary you. At the end of it, it's a conversation of you and your son, Aiden. Uh, talk about the effect he's had on you, not only as you watch him grow, but as you continue to grow as well. Uh, man, I can go on and on and on about my son. Um, you know, um, the, the craziest thing is, it's like, you know, my, I lost my mom in 2008. So, um, you know, fast forward to when I had my son, it was kind of like that missing void that I had for, for a couple of years, you know, brought back to my to my life. And, um you know, that just changed my, my whole perspective of uh, how I move and, and, and the decisions I make. You know, every every decision I make is is based on, you know, how it's going to affect me. And if, it, and if it's affecting me, it's definitely going to affect him. You know what I'm saying? Um, so he's just been like my motivation, my, my extra push, you know, um, besides losing my mother. Um, you know, him, you know, just wanting him to have everything, you know. I want his life to be a little easier, so I have to go a little harder, you know, so. Okay. So, um, talk a bit about your growth as an artist. Oh, man. Um, what I feel like I can, I can, I can grow every, every day. You know, when I, when I work on each project, I try to, you know, uh, look at what I did and, and what I didn't do. You know, and try to implement it to the new the new records I put out. Um, but man, like I mean, even with the music I listen to, you know, um, I, I don't really listen to as much rap as I used to. Um, I try to study a little bit of more music because it's very important that you study music so you can kind of like, you know, um, mesh it with with hip hop and stuff like that. It's, it's nothing wrong with challenging yourself. Um, I listen to a lot of EDM, um, alternative pop you know, techno, you know, and, and kind of implement it with my, my music today, you know, just to, to keep myself polished, you know, so it's not as repetitive as the traditional hip hop that you hear today. Okay, so uh, let's move on to Remember the Smile. Uh, what is it that you want to give off? Like, what was the message behind that? I was outside of, you know, remembering the smile. <laughs> well, um, I mean, the project right there is, it, it was more self-explanatory, you know what I mean? Um, like the the first the, the intro you know um has how i kicked it off saying you know when my mama passed my daddy asked what i'm going to do you know what i'm saying so that was just one of those things where you know you know you can't you can't rely on her anymore you got to do what you got to do and um no matter what you know a lot of things goes on in people's lives and i just want people to know that you have a chance to make 
every situation you get into better you know um everybody gets down on that luck some people are paycheck away from losing their homes but you know at the end of the day you know as long as you're alive you know you, you got to remember that you're blessed like because you you're, you're alive so that was just you know a little um project i wanted to put out just to spread that that message you know you know even when you're listening to it rather if, if it's not a song that's solely based on that title or that message you know it's just a subconscious reminder every time you listen to the project you know what i mean the, the project is titled remember to smile you know for a reason so i just wanted to to just you know kind of like do my my community service you know my uh my worldly service you know what i'm saying so because you know, we have a um i'm sorry we have everybody doesn't really take the responsibility to you know use their talents their voice you know to, to to spread that message and their art so i feel like that that project was it was it was it was long overdue for me to do that okay so being in the position that you're in how do you feel about hip-hop right now because um I think the thing that, that bothers me at this point is just the whole term of who's hot and who's not because I feel like it gets thrown around so loosely that it kind of like saturates what's really going on at the moment. You know what? Um, I totally agree. Um, definitely, it, it, it's, it's, it's always been a popularity contest, you know? Um, and it's, and it's, always, it's always been about like... You, the the it's it's, it's kind of like high school, you know what I'm saying? Like the the kid that 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 is actually dope, you know. If you get to meet him and, and and actually have a conversation with them, you know, you you find out all these dope things about them that you never knew. But you want to be you want to be in the, in, in the popular crowd. You want to be on the scene. You know, you want to be in people's faces and stuff like that. So you know, um, it's it's. Sometimes, you know, the, the actual music can get overshadowed, you know, be, because it's just like, it's a fashion show as well, you know what I mean? Like, nobody is really trying to polish their skills, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's more of how you look. They're more focused uh, uh, about, you know, how things look than how things sound. And I'm trying to do my part, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can, you can be skilled and you can be fresh, you know, you can be out there and... and you know, that's one of those things that is is it's going to take time. You know, it might not ever get better, but I mean, as long as you know you got your circle and, and y'all do your part, you know, it, it's it can happen. You know. So another thing uh, in the city for sure is the whole New Baltimore event, and you know how that turned out, which turned into a whole another thing about old Baltimore versus New Baltimore, which is stupid. But uh, do you feel like there's a huge disconnect? Um, yeah, um, it, it, and it always been that way. Um, you know, from, from when I started, it was more so, you know, which side you were on, whether it was the east side or the west side. And I was new Baltimore and old Baltimore. But, um, you know, it's interesting because, um, I feel like Baltimore as a whole entire city hasn't been really put on a big platform to really consider breaking it down to those entities, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, um, nationally, Baltimore is, is new to everyone. So, um, it's, it's, I mean, you know, I mean, but I, I respect it, you know what I'm saying? I, I definitely respect it because um, it, it's always been a, a disconnection, you know, with the new generation and the old generation. And um, and I think it's, it's just a separation of just understanding. And then you have that, and then wants him to understand you know what i mean the the the, the typically new catch you know what i'm saying because i'm i'm kind of like in between you know what i'm saying like i came up you know under the you know scar art bars uh, i've listened to Los, and they were like the first artists i ever heard like to officially like do this and then you know so um i feel like you know if, if everyone can kind of build relationships with with guys like that then it wouldn't be that much of a disconnect, you know, because I have I have a a, a a pretty dope relationship with Scar, you know, even though I just met him, you know, I, I let him know, like, dude, like, you're, like, one of the reasons I'm doing this, you know, on a local level. So I, I feel like, you know, sometimes homage is definitely necessary, you know what I'm saying? Because they definitely, you know, paved the way locally, you know. So. Any new artists that you're listening to right now? 
Oh hell yeah. Um psh, that boy Soda is is an animal. Black Z D Z Butch Dawson. I mean the whole seven floor, CCLS, Ice. Um I fuck with Al Rogers. Um OG Dutch. Like I was I was put on to him earlier, a couple years ago. Man, that whole that whole that whole wave of kids, man, is dope, man. Like, I love what they're doing, and they're doing it on their own. You know what I'm saying? They kind of, they remind me of me when I when I was coming up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I felt like, I mean, I've reached out, you know, to a lot of a, a lot of cats here, and um, I felt like I never was given a chance. So I just said, fuck it, and just started doing shit on my own and start branching out with other people. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely um, respect what they're doing. Um, tenfold man those those dudes are crazy yeah all right so one thing i do love about your music is just the the pride that you put into your lyrics but you also just have fun with the music as well what is it that keeps you going man just um you know the 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 freedom to do it you know what i'm saying that's what keeps me going you know like we aren't perfect but you know as artists we can paint that perfect picture we can create our own worlds and and, and 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 you know get people involved in it and, and have them you know feel like they're inside of our of our worlds so that's pretty much what keeps me going and, and going out and performing these songs live and just seeing how people react to it is, is the most rewarding thing ever so that's 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 what really keeps me going okay so i pretty much tell everybody this that my favorite song from you right now is european rugs with you four uh, I was talking to Jordan Bryant last week actually about that. Um, and the idea that came up was like y'all two doing like a an entire project together, maybe an EP or something. Have y'all ever talked about that? You know, we haven't talked about that. Um, only because, man, I know so many crazy producers that I would love to do an EP with, but it's, 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 it's I can't, I won't say that it's, it's not enough time, but you know, uh, when you're working on a project, you pretty much want to dedicate an entire year to the project you know so with that being said with all the producers i know um you gotta i mean you, you're talking about years of projects you know what i'm saying with wanting to do a full length project but i would definitely love to do a project with you for you know what i mean i would love to have more beats from you for but you know you know that that dude is on a, a whole different plateau now so i respect that but um European Rugs is definitely the one. Like, that's the one. That's my favorite record. So. All right, so before we get out of here, what should we look forward to from Ricky Jacobs? Um, more music. Um, I'm working on an EP. I don't really know when that's going, it's going to drop, um, but definitely an entire EP with my production team, um, Buddha and Grands. You know, they're under my, um, my whole squad, you know, triangle management, triangle offense. It's definitely the management team, and um, you know we we definitely putting together me, Wayno, and um, that's pretty much what you can expect. A nice little EP before um, you get a full length. I might do two EPs before the full length, but you know a couple of freestyles here and there. You know some new videos. I'm still pushing Remember to Smile, so um, that's pretty much you know all I got. All right, so yeah, man, we thank you for interviewing with us today. Sure. Uh, so yeah, this is Ron Chance Underground Riddle with Ricky Jacobs. We got it.